The port defense, otherwise known as a block shot, is a front foot shot played with a vertical bat that is decelerating into the ball to try and stun the ball straight onto the pitch. Zenon is now going to demonstrate a block shot from start to finish and I'm going to point out the key aspects from the shot. As you can see, he is still on the instep, so that means the inside of his big toes on the ground with a straight and braced back leg. The front foot has gone towards where the ball would pitch and is bent, helping get the head forward and the hands nice and high. The bat is also played at an angle so that when the ball makes contact, it will go down towards the ground. The hips, shoulders and feet are all lined up to where the ball is coming from. If we look closer, we will also see that the top hand is the strong hand and the bottom hand is slightly loose on the bat to make the ball sort of deaden off of the bat. We are now going to look at the forward defense from the front. We want to take special note of when Zenden is playing the shot that the bat accelerates and then decelerates to a point of being still at the time that the contact will be made. Also, as we notice him going forward in the shot now, we'll notice that his lines from his feet, hips and shoulders are all towards where the ball will be coming from. The head has stayed level and the eyes are over where the ball will be. Also what we can notice is the shape of his arms and bat are still in a figure nine position and we'll notice that all the way to the bottom of the shot. In the block shot, you want to be as compact as possible. There are no spaces inside and the hands are nice and firm. To practice the block shot, initially you do a lot of shadow batting, which involves the batter just holding the bat and going through the full shot until he's comfortable with the motion. After that, what you are going to do now is I'm going to go down the pitch about five meters away from Zenden. I'm going to throw some underarms, full toss about shin height, and Zenden's just going to block into the ball so that he can get confidence playing over the ball and getting it down. The progression from this point would be underarmed with a single bounce from a further distance. As you can see, with all those defense shots, the ball went straight down off the bat, taking out the risk of being caught. What we have noticed a lot, especially with younger cricketers and even some of the older cricketers, is that they sometimes reach for the ball in the block shot and this creates spaces between the bat and the pad. So for this draw, we've set up a line of cones a meter in front of where the bat is standing. I am going to go to the far side of the net, I'm going to throw slow over arms. The bat is then going to play the ball nice and late and try and get the ball to go off the bat and bounce before it gets to the line of the cone. That concludes the full defensive. A couple of the key aspects to remember is that you want to make contact with the ball nice and late, just in front of your front leg. Also, we want to make sure that our weight distribution is good. So that means our body is going forward to make sure that everything is behind the bat when you make contact with the ball. The third thing to remember is we want our alignment to be good. So the lines from our toes, from our hips, and from our shoulders are in line with where the ball will be coming from to make contact as close to us as possible.